A proposal by the Chief Justice of Ghana, Keachu Tokunu, to President Ekufado for an increment in the number of Supreme Court justices to a minimum of 20 has drawn heated public discussions. There are currently 15 justices at the Supreme Court, including the Chief Justice, five more than the constitutionally required minimum under Article 1281 of the Constitution of Ghana. Now, of the 15, 13 have been appointed by President Ekufado. This number, the Chief Justice argues, is woefully inadequate to marshal workload on the court, which she says has become overwhelming for the agent justices. Backing her position with historical data and statistical analysis, she reaches the conclusion that where the court had more justices, the Supreme Court was able to do more, citing the 2019-2020 and the 2020-2021 legal years as examples. Now, only 30% of cases were completed during the 2022-2023 legal year when the court had its lowest number of 12 judges. Hearing 45 cases a week and approximately 180 cases a month, according to the Chief Justice, have not been enough to clear the backlog of cases which continue to swell over the years. The backlog of cases in all matters before the Supreme Court increased significantly from 202 cases in the 2018-2019 year to nearly 600 cases in the 2022-2023 legal year. But in the view of lawmaker and fellow at the Center for Democratic Development, Professor Kwekwa Sari, the numbers argument mooted is rather simplistic. In a Facebook post, he wrote, quote, the more judges logic is as flawed as the more ministers, MPs, regents, districts, etc. logic the CJ must go now, unquote. Both the Attorney General and the majority in Parliament concur with the Chief Justice and appear to be singing from the same hymn sheet. As far as the Afenio marking led majority group and the Attorney General are concerned, the framers of the Constitution looked forward to a day when the number of Supreme Court justices would be increased to meet the needs of the country. As per what we have become aware, the Ghana Bar Association was duly consulted and the Bar Association, in principle, agreed to say. Other stakeholders also agreed to the need to expand our courts. The Attorney General, however, draws attention to the financial implications that may occasion. The Ghana Bar Association also agrees in principle, but dissents on the minimum being 20. They just want the number increased to 20 with a broader consultation. In what seems to have complicated the issue, the Chief Justice has already recommended five justices to President Kufado to be appointed to the Supreme Court, one of whom kindly presides over a political case involving the trial of the minority leader, Dr. Casey Atufu. Forcing. News reports, however, suggest that the Judicial Council has shot down the Chief Justice's recommendations. For the National Democratic Congress, this only gives credence to their long-held view that there is a calculated attempt by a Kufado-led government to pack the Supreme Court with justices sympathetic to their cause. This government storms at nothing and is determined to create a judiciary that is no longer a check on executive power. The President is appointing only loyalists of his party to this court to have control of the judiciary and escape post-regime accountability. Former President and NDC flag bearer John Germani Mahama, just like his party, finds no reason why the Chief Justice should champion the appointment of justices to the Supreme Court. I can't understand why the Chief Justice will be the one recommending, you know, which judges to appoint. The Constitution is clear that is the President who appoints judges in consultation with the advice of the Judicial Council. And so the initiative to appoint judges must come from the president. For him, the people of Ghana should be those to decide whether or not to cap the number of Supreme Court justices or increase the number. We will resurrect the constitutional review process when I become president. And when we do that, we will put it to the Ghanaian people whether we should retain the 15, whether we should reduce it, or whether we should increase it. It remains to be known if the president will be persuaded by the Chief Justice's justification and the inputs by the Attorney General, the majority in Parliament and the Ghana Bar Association for more appointments to the Supreme Court, and if not, what the next line of action will be for the Chief Justice. <laughs>